All right, guys, this is Greg's beautiful 2000, 2000 Chevy Camaro. This is the SS, and it is stupid clean. It's got the C5 Corvette wheels on it. You got the SLP intake and all that good stuff. Oh, yeah, you got the new grill in there. That looks really good. Yeah. Got some nice tin on here. Done by our guys over there at On Point Pro Styles here in Gainesville. So go see Kevin, he can hook you up. It's all ceramic tint. This thing is just super nice. Which brings us to what we're doing today, which is currently washing it. And then we're gonna ceramic coat it. So this is the Avalon King uh, Prep Shampoo. This is the prep wash. So it gets all, all the old waxes and sealants and all that stuff on there. You don't wanna be ceramic coating on top of wax. You can, and they're gonna hurt nothing, but it ain't gonna last very long because the wax under it will begin to deteriorate. So Greg's just rinsing the car down now. I mean, the car is really perfectly clean, but that's not the issue. The issue is the wax and grease and stuff like that. We wanna get all that off the sides, hand prints, anything like that. So you're gonna, yeah, yeah, exactly. Paint correction is very important. Uh, the paint on this thing is almost perfect. Uh, if you have a vehicle that's not perfect, that's where the hard work comes in. Paint needs to be perfect <laughs> before you decide to seal it. Um, so you wanna uh, clay bar it, do all that. Greg actually cleaned it yesterday. Um, and then we're cleaning it again right before we do it here. But uh, this thing is, is pretty awesome. Greg said he was going to wear his bikini, but he lied. It wouldn't have been very nice to have got pulled over like I did on the way over here. <laughs> wearing a bikini. It might have been. It might have got you out of a ticket. You guys are weirdo. I will say this. I've wanted one of these cars since I was literally a kid. I remember when these were new. And I finally got to a point in my life where I could find a really nice one like I did. A guy named Lee in Alabama sold me, in this, sold me this car, and it is absolutely immaculate. Um, he owned it for 18 years. Anyways, all that being said, super stoked to have this car. I'm at a point in my life where I'm responsible enough to own one, and I have not had a ticket in four years until this morning. We're going 14 miles an hour over in this. So. And it was a speeding ticket, right? He said he was, re he said he was responsible now. He was yeah. so responsible, he was only driving 45. And, and a, a 30. And a 30. <laughs> but, you know, it happens. It happens. Yeah, uh, so not not a very fast speeding ticket. 14 over sounds pretty fast, but uh, um, anyways, so we're gonna get this thing washed up. All right, guys, so we're refilling the clean bucket here. Dirt, well, well technically, the dirty, the, bucket. technically the dirty bucket. Uh, but now it's going to be clean, so we keep dumping out the dirty stuff um, and only getting fresh soap from this bucket. So should be good to go. So the way this, this method works, and you always see really nice cars that are like this one that have a very old paint job, you know, 20-plus years old because it's factory, and they don't have any micro scratches, and that's the two-bucket method. So what you actually do... You put soap on your on your sponge, clean your car, and then instead of literally dipping back in the soapy water and putting all the grime and the sponge back in there and then putting it back on the on the car, there take it, wash it out, in this wash one. it out in this bucket. So that knocks all your junk off of it. Instead of knocking it back off in this one. Into this one, yeah. So you got a nice clean clean sponge now because you've washed all the junk off of it in that bucket. And I like to wring mine out and then go over here to your soapy bucket. This is your clean water. Yeah, nice, you, nice clean water back Nice clean, there. loaded sponge. All right, guys, it is all clean. Just got it all dried up, and it looks amazing. So it's nice to have two 90s icons in here together. 
Of course, this is a 2000, but we won't tell anybody. But, uh, man, this thing looks good. So now we've got it dry, um, but there's still obviously micro beads of water that we really can't see. So now we're just going to let it rest. We're going to sit here, get nice and dry. It's pretty warm out here today. And uh, we're going to go take a break for a minute, and then we'll get back at it. All right, so uh, what we're gonna do, of course, is as we've been discussing, is uh, complete the um, ceramic coating on this with Avalon King products. But I just wanna show you guys what I got, because I know Jordan talks about these all the time. Um, I went ahead and I opted for pretty much the full treatment. I went ahead and got the microfiber, microfiber uh, chamois here. I got the pre-rot wash, which we just washed the car with. Um, this is the prep shampoo. And this is actually um, to strip all of the wax and all of the products off of the paint so that what you're doing is you're putting on um, the ceramic coat directly to the paint. You're not putting it on top of anything else. It even comes with nice instructions that tell you not to drink it, even if you're a Prius owner. So that's really nice. Um, I also got this. This is the car shampoo. This is for after the ceramic coating. Um, to be perfectly honest, ceramic coat, it's a fantastic tool but it's not something magical that's gonna keep your car clean all the time. I mean, yes, it will keep the car cleaner, stuff doesn't stick, but you still have to wash the car. So uh, this is what Avalon King um, actually recommends, and this is what they sell, and this is fortifying. So this helps to keep the ceramic coat alive as long as it possibly can. Yeah, yeah, and this has a bit of ceramic in it, so it'll continue to add another layer of ceramic every time you wash the car. Absolutely, and that's, that's always a good thing too. I think it says something pretty good too. Don't put in your eyes, yeah, even, if you yeah, do. even if you have a breeze. So it's the same, same instructions. Don't, don't, don't drink it. Okay. And then of course I got the actual ceramic coating. Now, before we do an unboxing of this, what I want to say is you can use the high revs discount. I got all of this for less than a hundred bucks and this is an extremely good value. Um, the thing is, is, is yeah, it's, it's a lot of money, you know, for a car wash, but the way you have to look at it is it is not just one car wash, you know? If you wax your car for a year, you're gonna spend more than a hundred bucks on wax and shampoos and products of that nature. Um, this car is not gonna be my daily driver. This is gonna be something I put up and I drive when the weather's nice. So this is absolutely perfect for what we're gonna do with this car. Um, this is again, less than a hundred dollar investment with the high revs discount that even you guys can use and uh, it is really, really good stuff. We've used it on the Viper, you can see sitting over there. Um, what else have you ceramic coated? I've done multiple vehicles now, and the Viper, I actually washed it the other day, and it literally takes five minutes. I sprayed it off with a hose and drove it down the road, and this is the results you get. It's a perfectly clean car, it's amazing. It really is amazing. Show you guys what you get with this, so try to keep all this on my towel here. So you get your nice uh, little card there. And then of course, this is your brief instructions here, thanking you for your purchase. And then right here, the good stuff. This is your actual ceramic coating. And it's amazing how far just a small amount of this stuff goes. This bottle will do this entire car. And I'll hold it in my hand to show you. It's only what, yeah, three, four ounces? Very, very small. And you can see, yeah, it's, it's 30 milliliters is what's in here. And you can see it kind of dancing around in there, which is kind of cool. And this little tiny bottle is is 100 strength so the other stuff you buy that's in spray bottles stuff you're buying mostly water and stuff like that whereas this is just the product so you only need a small amount of it and it goes a really long way so yeah this is the armor shield 9 and the 9 on here is is h9 that's the amount of hardness that this can handle so the dirt and the grit and the grime that gets on the car it's not going to stick into the paint like it would in the wax. Dirt and dust and stuff will stick into the wax and that's why you have to scrub it out. This doesn't do that. So that's the best part about this product. You also have um, your nice little sponge here. I'm assuming this is, and again, I'm a dummy, so this is for working it into the paint, correct? That's your applicator. Okay. So, and then you've got these pads right here. You've got usually three of these in here. You take one of those out and you wrap it around that. You actually apply the product like five drops here at a time. It doesn't take very much at all. And you just work that around. You have a couple gloves in here. Hey, you got a cool sticker. Sweet. We always love stickers for toolboxes. So, and then here is the actual instructions. So you can see, let me get that opened up there. 
So you can see you wrap it around through there. Oh, and that's what the card's for. So that's something new that they've done is they've actually added. Oh, the card tucks the it in. The card tucks it in there also, which is pretty amazing. So th these lines weren't in the ones that I was doing before. Um, and the issue is that keeps run coming off of it. So that's kind of nice that they made that line in there. So you can tuck it in now and it'll keep the uh, applicator pad onto the applicator itself. And then, like I said, you put a few uh, drops on there and you just start working it in in kind of a cross hatch pattern and then lightly buff it off. You're not actually buffing it at all. You're just lightly wiping it down. And you have this really nice microfiber cloth for doing that. This is the softest microfiber you've ever felt. It's amazing. I'm actually, nice. I'm hesitant. To, the reason I'm holding it in the corners, I'm hesitant to put my hands on it. And not that my hands are dirty, but I don't want any grit on this. Grit or oil or anything so like that. I'm going to lay that over here before I mess it up. But yeah, and then when we get done, that rag will just slide right off the car, which is pretty cool. So then you've got some maintenance stuff in here. As it says, utilize the two bucket method there. So, um, but yeah, it's a, it's a great kit. Um, and uh, I'm, I'm excited about getting it on here. It's always fun. You wanna wait if, you know, it's really it's good to wait a whole week if you can, keeping the vehicle out of the rain, but you wanna wait at least 24 hours or so. Uh, the longer you wait, wait, the better the coating is gonna be. Um, so it's good to have it uh, have it done. Greg is going to be able to wait a few days, but he's going on the power tour here yep. this week. So Hot Rod Power Tour, he's going to be riding on it. So yeah, that's going to be a lot of fun. And something that Jordan actually suggested that we're going to do for you guys is um, we're going to drive it on power tour. My dad and I are going, and uh, we're doing the last three stops in this car. But uh, you know, hopefully we don't get caught in rain. But I'm not going to wash it while we're gone. And whenever we get back, the first wash coming back, we're just gonna show you guys how good the armor shield actually does on this thing. Show you the first wash. Um, if it does have any grit or even bugs and stuff from just, you know, cruising down the road, cause we're gonna probably clock around five, 600 miles. So. There we go. So let's get started here. All right, guys, that is it. And we are done. This thing's completely coated and it looks fantastic. And we coated everything, the glass, paint, plastic, the rubber, everything out here. Even the windshield wiper rods. I would give anything. I wish we would have done a shot before and after. These window scrapers, and they weren't in bad shape, but they had started to get white spots on when they were oxidized. It literally brought everything back to life on it. Yeah, you're perfectly clear in that window right there. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> hey. <laughs> this is amazing. Even like the roof. Look at this. I mean, this, when I look in the mirror, this is black paint. Like that is just killer looking. And now comes the hard part. We have to let it rest. Yeah. A couple of days. Yep, let it stay in here. Let it nice and harden up and we'll get stronger and stronger. And in my opinion, every time I've done one, the paint looks deeper and deeper the longer that it sits. Uh, it's amazing <laughs> how it just looks like you're adding more and more layers of clear to the car. I mean, it, it looks awesome. And I'd even like to, you know, it's crazy too. We talked about what you can, it's got some dust settling on it, but. There was a spot on the roof right here where it had like a micro scratch 
and it wasn't anything deep. I mean, it literally was like maybe a piece of dust or something got caught in a cloth. It's gone. It's oh, literally yeah. gone. <laughs> yeah, and the fine scratches, it will fill them in. If it's a heavy scratch, you know, you're gonna have to do some paint correction, but fine scratches, scuffs, clear coat stuff, it will usually take care of it. Man, this thing just looks super slick. Looks really, really good.